In this video, we're gonna go over three examples of using ChatGPT to solve Excel formulas very, very quickly. We're gonna take some raw data and we're gonna take that raw data and convert it into digestible data. We're gonna take information that has partial dates or has dates buried within strings of text and we're gonna pull out the dates and we're gonna use an example where the negative number, the minus sign is actually behind the number and you'll be surprised how difficult it is to actually get that minus sign in front so you can actually get a negative number. Chat GPT will help us solve this very quickly. So let's go through these three examples. Example number one here, we have dates. It did not come in the traditional Excel date format. This isn't as easy as it looks to convert these numbers, this text into dates. I'm sure somebody's gonna comment and say, oh, you could just use this formula, but I'm lazy. I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT and plug in my problem, and I'm gonna see what ChatGPT is going to give me as a solution to my date problem. So I'm gonna write how to convert this number into a date. And here we go, ChatGPT is just digesting the question that I sent, and it's giving me a solution. If you look at the Excel formula that it's giving me, Man, that, that would take a little bit of time to kind of figure that out. I think I know each individual piece to a certain extent. I think that would have taken me 20 minutes to write that out. But here, we're going to just copy and paste it from ChatGPT. I need to change my reference cell. So it's actually referencing A2 instead of A1. I have found that it defaults to A1 every time I ask it for a formula. So we'll change it to A2. I'm gonna drag my formula down and boom. I've got an Excel date format that can be used, especially if you're importing data into a system. A lot of times you need to get it into the Excel date format. It's not gonna recognize that raw date data format that I originally had. If you've gotten any value out of this video so far, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. All right, let's continue. Now adding on to what we just did, I have dates and then I got refunds. These are all negatives. These are refunds that I need to cut checks for and I need to import this into my software. I'm gonna take the formula that we just used to, to fix the dates and now I need to fix my refund amount because I, when I downloaded the data, it, it put the negative behind the number and that's driving me bananas because I can't easily convert that. I'm gonna plug the, my question into chat GPT. How do you convert the 100 with a minus sign behind it to a negative number? And let's see what answer we get. All right, let's give me a full explanation on what the formula does. And it's actually giving me an alternative as well but I'm gonna go with the first one and see if that works. I'm gonna plug that into my Excel spreadsheet and let's see what it does for my negative number or my number with the negative sign behind it. So I gotta reference my right cell, it defaults to A1. I'm just gonna drag and be lazy. I've gotta type them in. I'm just gonna keep dragging these till I get to the A, <laughs> until I get to B2 and boom, it worked. Just gonna drag it all the way down. Now I have a true negative number that can be imported. I got my date, I got my refund amount based upon text that came out of another system that was not in the right format in ChatGPT. ChatGPT gave me some quick formulas to convert that data, and now I've got a good Excel file that can be imported into my system. All right, now this is an example. Of, we've got some raw data. I've got a client and I've got a date, and I need to extract the date from this piece of data. So I'm gonna plug this in pull the date out in Excel based upon this information that I have. And look, it's given me two responses. I'm gonna have a couple options to test out on how to convert, how to pull that date out of this text string. It's actually giving me what it's gonna look like even before I put it in the formula. So I feel really good about the response. We're gonna test out all three of these that they have given me. We are gonna see which one we like the best or which one solves our problems. So 
let's take our first response, plug it in. We're going to adjust it back to A2 because we got to reference the cell that we need converted. And boom, that looks pretty good. I want to clarify, that's the second option that they gave me in this scenario because I actually needed it in this format to upload to the system. I don't need it in that dash format, but we'll use the dash format as well. That's actually answer number one. I just copied and pasted answer number two. So let's go with answer number one. This looks like it's going to give me a dash. Uh, it's going to extract the date, but it's going to be, give me a dash format instead of the traditional. Yeah, see, it's 0 02 dash 010 dash 2022. I mean, that works if, if your system or if, you, if that's how you want to present the date. Great. I actually need it in column B. That's the format that I need to upload it into my system. So let's try response number three or technically response number two, but option number three to see if this formula works as well. All right. Let's reference the cell. All right, let's drag it down, and that one doesn't appear to do. That doesn't appear to work. It's not. I don't know if I'm misinterpreting the uh, the formula, but it is not doing what I want it to do. But the first two definitely solve my problem, and the second option on the first response, perfect. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs up, letting know Chat GPT. Hey, that's what I was looking for. You gave me the answer. I didn't need the other two necessarily, but thank you. That saved me a lot of time. That's a long formula. So from this code, this, this text data, I was able to extract the date, which is at the end of the text. And now I got date. I have the date formula that I need to import whatever information I need to get into my system. So thank you, ChatGPT. That was very helpful. That's three pretty basic examples of how ChatGPT can solve some Excel formulas very quickly. And you can see it's... Some of them are fairly complicated. If you're amazing at, at writing formulas in Excel, this might, might, might not be that helpful. I am okay with formulas, but if you once you start adding a bunch of strings and you have to add a, embedded pieces of different formulas, it can get confusing pretty quickly. So this is a fantastic tool to have at your hands. Give it a try. See if it gives you the answer you're looking for. I've had some success with this so far. Uh, so good luck with that. Let me know if you had success with this or it was a complete bust. Hope you have a good rest of the day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye.